Hi there. Let's take a look at the test scores program as it is written for chapter two of our Python book. So I have put this in REPL and I want to just go over some of the windows here in the REPL system so that you can understand what's going on. So in this first left hand window is we have the file section and by default, they create a file for you called main.py. So if you create a new uh, Python REPL, you will start off with an empty file called main.py. And what I did was I just took the, um, the Python program from our textbook and pasted it into the main.py window. Okay, which is the middle section. The middle section is where you're going to type your code. It's where you're going to run your program. And all of the output of your program is going to be in this right-hand window where you're simulating the display. Okay, so in the event that I want to test this out, which is what I want to do, this is, I haven't changed anything here in this program. I'm going to click the green run button at the top. And that will go ahead and restart my program so that I can interact with the program through the window here. So I'm going to run through this program once and then we'll talk about what all the, the lines of code mean. So I, this is a program to calculate the three test scores and add them all up and then give you an average. So I'm going to make this real easy. I'm going to put my first test score as 80. My second test score is 90 and my third as 100. So add those up. It's 270. Take an average. So that is adding them all up and dividing by the total amount there is. So in this case, there's three. 270 divided by three is 90. Okay. And that is what you're going to get here. Um, so let's take a look at what's happening with the code. Uh, as you can see, lines one and three are comments. It's always a very good thing to comment your code and make sure that you're kind of translating what's going on in this code to anybody else who might be reading it. I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can see the lines better. Okay, so all we're doing in this first part is we are kind of guess this is part of the user experience, right? So we're printing the test scores program and then we have a, an empty line of print, which is going to put this empty line underneath the test scores program. And then we're going to print enter three test scores. Again, that's outputting to the screen and we've got these little equal signs to kind of give it a, a little feel of formatting, right? Um, in line 10, we are initializing the variable to zero. So basically, um, we're going to be working in this example with the total score. And so we want to start it and initialize it as an integer by giving it a zero value. In lines 11, 12, and 13, you will notice that it is asking for the inputs. So this is enter test score. We could technically change this to test score one test score two, test score three, um, just to make it a little clearer. But take a look at what's happening. So we've got our input and then we have int around the entire input statement. And recall that that is making it so that whatever is input is brought in as an integer because the default for any input statement is that it comes in as a string. Now this might be a little confusing at first when you read line 11, it says total score plus equals and then int input. So you know the int input is taking in that number. It is not assigning it to a variable. This plus equals is basically saying, I want you to take total score and whatever the value is of total score. And I want you to add whatever they input for score one. So in the case that I input an 80 here, now total score is 80. In this next line, it's going to say enter score 2. I'm entering a 90. So now it's 80 plus 90. So now we're at 170 
we start line 13 off with 170 and then we're going to add the 100. So all we're doing here is we're just adding to one variable called total score. Uh, we are not storing any of the individual scores anywhere in the program. So we're asking you for this first activity to go through and modify this program so that you are recording all of those scores in their own variable and then you're going to add them all, all up. Okay, so in line 16 we are taking total score, dividing it by 3, rounding it in the event that there is a decimal and we are saving the value of that to a variable called average score. So now we have two variables, total score and average score. And so far up through line 16 we haven't output anything yet. We've just created these variables and added and performed some math on them. So now at the end we're going to print out our equal sign again formatting. Then we're going to print out our total score. We're doing a slash n so that we start a new line and then we have our average score is also being printed out and then we say bye. Now some of you if you're running this through idle on your local computer you will notice that when you run the program idle closes before you can actually see the uh, the final formatting and printing. What you can do to kind of force that to not close is just put an empty input at the bottom of it. So you're not going to notice it here because here it's not automatically closing like it does in idle. But if I go through and run this now, you will see it says buy and then there's basically another input at the bottom here. It's just waiting for me. And uh, by adding that input statement in idle, it'll prevent the idle um, window from closing automatically on you. Okay, so um, hopefully this has kind of given you a feel for uh, what this program is doing and what the modifications need to happen. Uh, again, you don't have to overcomplicate this. This is, a, this is just a few minor changes and um, but what I would start with is the first thing you want to do is get rid of all of this stuff right here because you're not going to be adding the total score up like this. I mean, I guess you could, but it seems like it's going to be easier to make these all variables, get those inputs, and then you can add them together and then you can output it as a total score. You also need to output what each of those scores are in the system. So um, if you need any help, feel free to send me a message. And what I like to do when I'm doing this type of work, if I am creating a variable and I kind of want to see what is being recorded. So for example, let's say I want to see what's happening to the variable total score. I'm going to go ahead and just put some print statements in here so I can see what's happening. Um, because like I said, it's continuously adding these up. So let's see what that looks like. So let's say I enter test score 55. Now total score is 55. Let's say I test score two is 100. Now total score is 155. I'm gonna enter another 55. So all combined, it's 210. Calculates the average as 70. So don't be afraid to use those print statements and kind of use them to understand what's happening in your program. This is especially important when we start working with loops and we start making more changes to things. So you can always add this in so that you as a programmer, while you're trying to figure out how this program works or what changes are being happen or being made to the variables, you can get some input, you know, from the, the program. What's going on here? It'll help you understand what's happening easier. And then you can remove them or comment them out before you submit your work. Okay, so hope that makes sense. Give me a, give me a message if you need any extra help. Thanks, bye.